Wood Shop. I'm Cecilia. And I'm Brian. Today we're going to be using some scrap wood we had left over from other projects to make a simple little napkin holder. This would be a good project for a beginning woodworker. Let's get to work. We're going to go ahead and measure and mark our boards. This one right here is our 1x4 and we're going to measure it at 6 inches. Our napkin holder is going to be 6 inches long. And then we've got a one by six right here, and this is going to be for the sides of our napkin holder. Again, we're gonna mark it at six inches. Now the next thing we're going to do, to fancy this up just a little bit, we're going to take our router with a 3 8 inch roundover bit and go around three sides of the outside panels, all the sides except for the bottom. The next thing we're going to do is cut down the middle, the bottom panel of our napkin holder. As you can see, this is pretty wide. This would hold a whole lot of napkins. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this board here and cut it down to two and three quarter inches. All right, here's our centerpiece. We have it written down to two and three quarter inches. Now the reason for that measurement is that we're going to hook this together using rabbit joints. Now this is three quarter inch material so we're going to be cutting halfway through that. That'll leave us three eighths of an inch on each side that will be taken away from this bottom piece and that's three quarters of an inch. So we'll have two inches left in the center to hold the napkins. Now we don't have a dado blade for our table saw so I'm going to have to do this uh, rabbit joint with five or six passes across the blade. The blade's an eighth inch thick now, I've got a sacrificial fence set up here so I don't dig into my table saw fence with the blade. So I have to start at zero. Now, once I get this first pass done, I'll move the fence an eighth inch at a time so I can keep making passes and get up to three quarters of an inch. Before we glue our napkin holder together, we're just going to give this a nice light sanding. We did start with project wood, so we have a pretty good base, but we're going to go ahead, hit this with some 220, and we'll start gluing this thing together. have been cut and sanded. We're ready to assemble these. One thing we do want to tell you about, um, we used a table saw to make these rabbits. You could also use a straight bit on a router if you wanted to do that. Uh, the actual bit that we have wasn't quite big enough for that job, so we used the table saw. All 
I don't know why, but I can never open a bottle of wood glue. Got I got it. All right. <laughs> All that iron I've been lifting. It's almost time for a dinner break, but before that, we're gonna put some clamps around our napkin holder and let it dry. Now the glue's had time to dry, so we're gonna remove these clamps. a napkin holder to me. Uh, we're gonna apply some lacquer to this and then we'll be done and we can test it out with some napkins. Um, you know, we've been married for like 19 years and I don't think we've ever had a napkin holder. So, sounds weird. You can buy one at Walmart, but we've never had one and uh, we made one. So, I'm pretty excited about that. Well, our lacquer is now dry, and you can see here we have a pretty simple to make napkin holder. And these napkins just came from, they appeared out of nowhere, I don't know where they came from. As you can see, they're a great fit. We're really excited um, about this napkin holder. You know, it's simple, but it's elegant, it's going to look great in our kitchen, and we'll have napkins at hand whenever we need them. So we're really excited about that, and it was fun making this with you today. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for all the projects we're bringing your way. Also see us on Facebook at Wood Songs by Russell. Thanks again for joining us. Happy woodworking! <laughs>